Good morning, welcome to the Rocket Null channel, and welcome to day two of my Virgin Voyages cruise on the Scarlet Lady. We're in Key West this morning. Last night was fun, had a good time. Finally settled down around 2.30, went to sleep, ended up watching Roadhouse of all movies. Great movie though. So I'm gonna go to the galley, grab some breakfast, I'll take you there, show you what that's like. Then we're gonna explore Key West a little bit. Nothing too crazy, just wanna see Duval Street. Check in with you at the galley. Okay, welcome to the galley. Here's just a glimpse of it. I will tell you more about it in a little bit. Okay, for those of you who've never been on a Virgin, Virgin is different in another way because they ditch the typical cruise buffet and they added something called the galley. So you might have seen when I walked in, they had different places, but it's not buffet style. You just, you get a menu and you order from about five or six different places. They have a, a diner for breakfast. They have a taco uh, breakfast. They have all kinds of stuff. So it's nice you sit and you get served as opposed to, you know, the typical buffet style. So a lot of people like coming here in the morning. I'll show you my food in a bit. Okay, walking the streets of Key West, Florida, wearing my Boca Raton Championship Wrestling shirt, which by the way, if you're watching this video before March 17th, they have a show at the synagogue. I'll be there, hope to see people there. Now, gonna get a drink at Sloppy Joe's. And this is a cool little town. Hard to believe I grew up three hours from here and have never been here. So I'll check it in a bit. Go Nulls. Go Nulls. Okay, we've arrived at the world famous Sloppy Joe's in Key West, Florida. Right by the ship, so I didn't have to Uber or take a cab or anything. So I'm gonna go in here, grab a drink. They're already got a live band, which is awesome. And that's Key West for you. It's as laid back a town as you'll ever find. So I'll see you inside. Okay, just finished up at Sloppy Joe's. It's a good time, nice and relaxing, which is always a good thing. Still on Duval Street, which is a cool place, real cool place. I can see why people like to come here to spend a weekend. Okay, leaving Captain Tony's, headed back to the ship. While I was in Captain Tony's, I ran into some Knoll fans and we just chatted football, talked about the first game in Ireland. I was already pumped for the season, but yeah, that got me even more pumped. After a nice couple hours in Key West, I'm gonna go back onto the ship, relax for a little bit, maybe go to Jacuzzi, maybe go to the pool. It's tough, but someone's gotta do it. So I'm back in the galley after a nice time at the pool, jacuzzi, which I think I'm gonna go back to later. But I thought I'd walk around here and show you some of the options they have for in case you ever go on a Virgin Cruise. The Bento Box Pokey Bowl Station. This is the diner area I talked about where I had the French Toast Burger from today. Down here you got a burger area. Like I said before, and I know I say like I said a lot, but no buffet here. You just order what you want. Ooh, pastries. Another hot press sandwich area back there. Back there is Gum Bay, the Korean barbecue. And I'll show you some other areas. Over here you have a taco bar. They have some cool chorizos. And lastly, back here, you can see it back there, it's the noodle bar, which I don't think I've tried before. But this is very popular. And lastly back there, you have another hot press sandwich station. Okay, had a nice day today. Can't complain one bit about it. Uh, it's about six o'clock. I am at Razzle Dazzle for dinner. This is their signature restaurant and vegetarian restaurant, but there's a secret menu there that is definitely not vegetarian. 
Okay, change of plans. I went to Razzle and the secret menu that I really loved before, they totally changed and it was just nothing I really wanted there. So I am at Extra Virgin now, which is the Italian restaurant here, which is awesome. So I was coming here tomorrow night anyway. I'm happy to come here tonight. So this is what you call a good audible on a cruise ship. This is one of the reasons I love doing cruises is if one thing doesn't work for you, you always have other options. Just got back from dinner at Extra Virgin. Definitely enjoyed it. Glad I went there. Right now, I'm just gonna relax on the hammock while I listen to the water. Something I was really looking forward to on this cruise was this, and it does not disappoint this hammock. You know, it's Scarlet Night on Virgin Voyages Cruise when you see the red lights in the hallway. 